Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming back to my channel and watching this uh, second part of this um, series that I'm doing um, today. So um, I'm looking to build a balance, small profit, it's profit and stop. That's pretty much what I'm trying to show and share that works really well for building a balance. I've been doing it for years. I've gambled for a long time and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, so. I'll bring it into, well, let me just show you what tool I'm using. It's the same tool as last time. The missing section roulette tool is the tool that I'm going to be using. And I am going to make three pounds profit per session. I call it, every time I get a three pounds, it's a session. I'm calling it. I'm going to do 30 sessions. I've already completed two this morning which I put on my website, I'm um, sorry, which I uploaded, should I say, earlier today on YouTube. Make sure you check that out. That, that out. Also, if you want to use any of the tools that I'm going to be demonstrating here with cash, um, head over to my website. Now, my website will be in the description and underneath the main header on the uh, YouTube channel. This is what the website looks like. If you scroll, that's me. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see where you can use the tools, how how you can use them. Basically, the web-based tools, which means it'll run on any device. As long as you're connected to the internet and you're running it through a browser, it'll work on any device. Um, it'll work on a desktop computer, a laptop, a tablet, an iPad, mobile phone, uh, whether it's Mac, PC, Windows, or iOS, or Android. Any device, as long as you, whatever you search the internet on, that browser that you're using, it'll run through that. You could also use it on a Chrome web browser, which is the preferred one, but it'll run on everything, basically. If you scroll down a little bit further, it shows you a little bit about the roulette tool ordering process and what how to do it. And there's a roulette tool comparison table. Check that out. It tells you what is either inside bets, outside bets, all types of bets, or if it's good for a single zero table or a double zero table. So make sure you check that out. I'm going to be using the missing section tool. So I'm going to click on this link that takes me directly to it. So if you wanted to use this and uh, pay to use it for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, then all you need to do is click the buy now at the side of the whatever you want to pay for the duration you want to use it. Once you've paid via PayPal, I'll reply to your um paypal email address with the passcode that you need to input to use the tool so once you've got that passcode um you come back to this site to this panel where the missing section tool is and you click this green button to activate the tool so you click on it and it boots up the tool within your web browser so it's like going to a website then you click the i agree tool then you input your passcode that you would have been emailed from me if you've purchased it and then away you go. That's pretty much how you do it. Uh, there's testimonials at the bottom of the page. Make sure you read those. These are people that have been using the tools, which is fantastic. Phenomenal response from people um, giving me replies for the tools they've used and success stories that they've had, which is great. Now, you're not always going to win when you gamble. It is gambling still. But the tools that I've developed... Um, I look to try and get as you know little bits here and there. So if I'm if the casino is looking to give me the win, it's going to give me it really. Early, it's going to give me the win really early on in the way that I'm playing, because it wants me to stay there, get that good feeling, that buzz. And once I've got that buzz of winning, I'm likely to increase mistakes and trying to win more and more and more. And that's how the casinos win because if 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 you're that type of gambler. And you don't know when to stop because you want more and more and more. You will always end up giving it them back. If I've learned over the years, it is a profit and stop approach. So small targets work best because you're not getting into that buzz. You you're not getting yourself into that state of um, dopamine state of having a, had a win of a big value that's giving you that buzz to carry on playing. You're not getting that on this. You're slowly building it. And you're emitting that from the gameplay. So it's kind of, this is the better way to do it, in my opinion. That's the website. This is what I'm doing at the minute. I'm seven pounds up today so far. And I'm still in the same day, day one. This is going to be the third session. 
I'm just going to drag this down a level and then so it sets it to zero. I'm going to update the £27 to £30, which is the £3 profit that I'm looking to achieve on this session. And um, we're going to see if we can achieve that. So I'll bring you back to this uh, this sheet once I've achieved it. Hopefully, once I've achieved it, because I might not achieve it as well. Um, so yeah, scroll down a little bit. And where is it? There it is. Um, let me get the window up. Right. You can see my balance in the bottom left corner um, and the tools loaded up. Here we go. So click to play. All I'm doing is I'm inputting the numbers from right to left, oldest to the newest, into this tool. I'm clicking on the numbers. So 18, then the 0, then the 26, then the 22, then number 5, 5 again, then 34. And every time I click a number, it resets the count on that particular number and everything associated with that number goes back to 0. Um, and you'll also see dozens and columns highlighting blue when they reach the tracking value in the lower left corner. So the last number out with that I input was 32, uh, then it went to 25, and then it went to number 8, and then it went to 18, and then number 30. Right, I'm going to bet at a stakes of 50 pence, 50 pence stakes on this setup, there's 18 again. And I'm going to see if I can build my balance, basically. I'll just put a bit of sound on. I'm just looking to make £3 profit. So I've got £27. Now I started with 20 So my, always my first target is going to be uh, to secure the cost of my deposit. That's always going to be my first target um, to, to make. The 20 pounds once i've achieved 20 pounds you know i'm buzzing then it's, it's pretty good so 26 flat so if place your if odd misses it's going to highlight blue because it's at six misses in a row and that's what i've got my tracking value set to here this is your tracking value for the outside bet Bets even money closer. shots the two to one shots uh dozens and the two to one shots for the the no columns bets, as well so that goes off of this value here, which you can decrease. That's an intersection bet when you've got two p two values uh, that meet the the missing section criteria on this value here. That's what it does. Uh, it highlights the four numbers that intersect on a on a dozen and a column. Um, you've also got section numbers. Number thirteen. You've also got section numbers here, 1 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 36. Now, these I've preset already uh, within the code to come on and highlight when it's missed for 14 spins and 15 spins. And then it goes off. Then it comes back on and highlights when it's missed for 22 spins onwards. So 14, 15 and 22 onwards for these numbers here. Then you've got the individual count in the bottom right hand corner where it's currently reading 50 spins without a hit on the individual count on the numbers. So these grey numbers are to the side of the, the actual numbers. It's counting that. Once it reaches 50 spins best. without a hit, it's going to go yellow. Right, this is my first bet. First dozen's not hit for six spins in a row. Bets. And again, I'm not guaranteed to get my win because it's not hit. You know? I'm just taking a punt no that bets, six misses in a row covering 12, 12 numbers out of 36 is not a bad ratio to start betting at to try and get that hit, that number to come in, one of those 12 numbers to come in. So one through to 12, first bet, this will give me one pound profit of the three that I'm looking to achieve. 22, 22 is a miss. Right, what do we do now? Please place your bets. Repeat it, add a chip. So if I hit on this spin, I'm going to get more money back because I've doubled up. Bets closer. But we're not going to martingale all the way through. We're going to repeat and add a chip, repeat and add a chip. That's what we're going to be doing. So if this hits, I get £1.50 profit, which is halfway to my, my target of £3. Once I've got my £3 target, if I get it, I'm going to go back to the sheet and update it, then set myself another target. But it depends how difficult it was to achieve to determine 
whether I carry on playing or not. That's always going to be in between because it's in between the two and the four. Look, twenty-one. That will always happen. Repeat. Add a chip. So eight eleven. It could go to thirty. Three and twelve could go to number thirty-five. Um, seven. Uh, that could hit the well. Not the seven, is it? No more bets. Five and something. Five and ten, is it? No, five and no. What am I talking about? Basically, it goes to the numbers in between, uh, if it can, because that's how these games operate. This is my third bet. Eight's good. Eight. That is a win. Flat. Right now, Nine. I'm in profit. Boom. Please place your bets. So it only took me what three spins to get into profit. You could stop at that position now, and you'll be in profit. Bets you'll be ahead of the game, and you could just do that, and that will work. You will build balances just doing that. I kid you not, you will no make money doing place. that. Most people don't like to stop at that point because they're not making enough money. But, you know, for me, I've learned little bits and often is the best way to do it. So I'm sticking to, you know, playing, doing little bits. Because if I'm doing little bits... I can concentrate better. I can see what the table's doing. I'm not on for too long. And I can see whether the table's playing in my favour or not. Really easy. I can focus much better and much easier. Whereas if I'm playing for a particular target in that one session, and it's a difficult setup, I'd be likely to increase the stakes to get there faster so I can get off that table. And that could go against me. And I may miss my opportunities and make lots of errors. So we don't want to be doing that. 18 red. So just take it easy. Please. So third dozen, if that misses for one more spin, it's going to highlight blue because it'll be six misses in a row. Bets closing. So this is the missing section tool by Roulette Profit and Stop. My brother and myself developed this years ago. I've developed a number of different no tools. Bets, They're all on my website. And they're all intended to give you those quick hits if you can. Profit and stop, which what which is what works. Profit and stop works. I've not seen anything else that works as good as this. Twenty-three. Right, third dozen is the bet. Please place your bets. So I'm going to be doing a recording using my iPad, just to show you. Uh, that you can use it on your iPad as well. So I'm going to try and work out bets the best close. format for that. I don't know whether to make it a short video because no it'll probably lend itself better to, to be in a short video because I can rotate my iPad around so it's vertically standing like the actual tool is. So it lends itself to that shape, tall, the tall shape. This is the first bet for the... Uh, Third dozen, looking to make 30, get to 30 quid. 30's a hit. Boom. 30. Right, I'm nearly there. You win. All I need to do now is make another 50 pence. So, um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do two dozens, uh, or two columns. I'm going to do top and middle. So the top one's just landed, and the middle one's not hit for four. So I've gone with the highest counts. I could have done the dozens, but there was only one and two. So I decided to go, well, two was the highest. So I thought I would go with the four with the middle. So I'm on the top and the middle columns, just for 50 pence win, to get me to my target of three pound. Then I'm going to go back to the sheet, update it, and set myself another target. If this hits, hopefully it will. Ten. That's a miss. Ten. Bloody typical. This is what I don't like Please about this. Place your bets. So I'm going to repeat the same. Well, I'm actually going to go bottom now. So now I'm having to triple up. And that money that I've just made, Best I've just waxed closing. that, putting it back in, covering this many numbers. Ah, oh, it infuriates me, this kind of bet. But people love to do a bet like this, and I just can't, I, I don't get it. I don't get it myself, because the, it's costing them a lot of money to do it. When they lose, it's it's a, it's a bad bet in my book. But mm, this might hit 10 again, hopefully. Look at that. Look at that. Third. Low is gone. That's two misses. It's cost me now 
three. It's cost me four pounds. I'm now worse off. Worse off. Now I'm going to chase. Watch. I'm going to put two pounds on this to get four pounds. Well, to get six pounds total, which will put me back to where I was before I placed that bet to no get 50 pence. Bets, so now I'm on a chase. Now I'm chasing. This is me chasing because I've lost doing covering fucking stupid bets. Two dozens. What a fucking stupid idea that is. This is, I mean, I'm swearing because I can't stand betting lots of numbers and losing. That's the worst thing you can do. This this amount of numbers, 12 numbers, I'm comfortable with that. But fucking hell. Shocking. There's my hit. But I wasn't keen on that at all one bit. I'm not keen on doing a lot of numbers. I can't stand doing a lot of numbers. And that's why I don't do a lot of numbers. Because it winds me up. It's it missed twice. <laughs> and I hit just covering, you know, half of that amount. This is the thing. Um, and also, I'm not, when I'm covering only 12 numbers, I'm not having to increase my stakes necessarily to try and get into profit. I only, I'm only doing that on this one because of the setup I'm using. But with the um, double dozens, it's going to cost me a lot of money if I lose. It's just a stupid way of betting. Stupid. Unless you've got a massive bankroll, you've, you're going to be Please place your bets. on the losing side. Let's put it that way. 100%. Double dozens, fucking double columns, whatever you call them. Close. Streets, those bloody... Um, anything where you're covering a lot of numbers, and if you lose, you've got to double up or triple up. Bad idea. No bets, please. Bad idea. Very, very bad idea. In my book, it is anyway. Other people might enjoy doing that, but wow. No, not for me. That is there. That's a no no for me. I prefer to just bet on, bet on one number and lose 25 times. Seven, Seven. is a miss. Red. So I don't mind missing on the second dozen there. Please place your bets. Repeat the bet. I could even play the same stake, but. I want to add an extra chip, which is what I normally do. But yeah, 13 to, thir 13 to 24 is the bet. This is the second bet for the second dozen. If this hits, I'll be over my target by 50 pence. No more bets, I think. Please. Is that right? 150. What do we get back off this? Three. Oh, I'll be one pound over, I think. I'll be one pound over if I hit. 13 to 24. Second bet. Let's go. 13, 24, here we go, 28, boo, 28. third bet coming up, again I'm not I'm not bothered about losing on this, betting on a dozen, that does not affect me as it as much as it does when I'm betting on two dozens, because two dozens I'm expecting to win every other spin, Bet's or every spin closed. pretty much, because I'm covering a hell of a lot of numbers. No more bets please. But it's not, you know, the casinos are in, hold all the aces, they're in control, not you. So you want to try and make it so you're in control and the casino isn't. So you've got to limit your access, limit your, your gameplay, limit what limit your action is mean I mean and what you're doing. Drip feed the casino your money. And two. Two black. Right, this is gonna hit. Please place your bets. This is my fourth bet. If this one misses I have to, re well, to, in order to get profit, I would have to repeat the bet and add two extra chips. Bet's closing. I will give it one more bet if this misses. Then I'm probably going to give it a bigger bet to try and recoup no that bets, loss. Please. But I don't mind that because I've played out what I wanted to play, how I wanted to play it to get to this position. So I'm comfortable with that. So 13 to 24. Let's go. I think this is going to hit. There you go, 20. number 20. And that gets me to my target Win. just over. Please place so click the 20. I'm just going to go back to the um, the sheet and input my new balance of 30.52. So I've just made £3.50, which is my target, minimum of £3. I'm now going to create another target of £3 to get to 33. And I'll bring you back again in a minute, hopefully, once I've achieved it. So we've not lost any action. We can keep an eye on what's happening. So now I'm looking to get to 33.52. That is the target. So I'll just try and get two if I can. That'll do for me. Thank you very much. 22 black. So the top rows at five misses. So we can bet on that in a minute. I mean, I am tempted to do the double dozens again just to 
wind myself up when I lose. <laughs> but, you know, it's like a wind-up fucking bet. It really is a wind-up bet. It really is. Double dozens. I mean, you need a massive bankroll to do it. A huge bankroll. It's ridiculous. I know other people do it. I've seen them, and I know they've got bigger bankrolls to do it, but wow. I'm, even with a big bankroll, I wouldn't do it. It's just... Red. Just not an appeal. You know, like some bets are appealing. This, that's not one of them. That's not one of them. Bets close. It's a bit like the Lucky Thirteen that I've got. That's not a bet I would normally do either, because of the uh, when you lose, you've got to increase it to get get a win back. You know, to get into profit, you've got to triple up on that one, which is like that's a bad thing as well. And and you're covering a lot of numbers on that too, so. It's, again, a bad bet in my book. As it only takes one loss and then you're on the back foot. And if you're not used to, you know, Five, if you've not red. got enough in the bankroll to support a loss Please so you can, your bets. you can, um, you know, ride out all those losses to try and get back up again, get back, back into profit bets. or back into, Close. you know, money back. You're going to be on a, a losing run most of the time. So anyways, this is session recording number four. I'm looking to make three quid. Another three quid. I've got three fifty on the first round. This is the second round. So this is session recording for day one. Nineteen red. Right, third dozen. Please Here we go. Place your bets. Bosh. This will give me a one pound profit if I hit. I'm playing at fifty p stakes. Getting two to one bets on the closed. dozens or the columns. And if I just continue doing this, this does work. This will work. I know it works because I've been doing it for years. <laughs> so this is what I'm showing. This is it. This is what I'm showing and sharing. Here we go. So 25 to 36. And then we're laughing. 28 is perfect. That's a hit on my first spin. Absolutely buzzing. I love that when it hits. That 30 to 36 is looking quite appealing yes. at the minute. 11 spins without a hit. So that's kind of on my radar. Because if it misses for three more spins and gets to 14, no, it's going to highlight good. blue at 14 spins without a hit. Now, I could place that bet on the 10p stakes because it's going to cost me 70 pence if I do. So it's just 20 pence over than what I'm spending on, my first, on one of my first bets on a dozen, which is not too costly if I do do that. It's just landed 36, 36, so that's going to get rid of it. Red. Bloody Please typical. Place your bets. So, looking for another opportunity. I'm in no rush. No rush whatsoever. If you're in a rush, you're going to lose. If, you set your, if you've not got a target and you get to a, a value and you carry on playing, or oh, just try and get to this, or no we'll just try and get to that, you'll lose. If you set a target that's unachievable, not realistic for the gameplay you're playing, you're going to lose. If you uh, set a target and you're close to getting it, but it's been a struggle to get close to getting it, that needs to be a stop. If you're close to getting it, but you're not quite there, stop there. Because if you don't and you try and push on to try and get it, you're probably going to lose. Because if it's been a tr struggle, it'll continue right. to be a struggle, no Please doubt. Okay, on the tool, you'll see all the numbers uh, in yellow. They're at a value of 40. So any number that's in a value of 40 to 49 is going to highlight yellow. So number one's missed for 40 spins, number four's missed for 40, no bets, six is missed for 40, double zero's missed for 40, even though I'm playing a single zero off the wheel. That's in collaboration with this particular setting down here, this this uh, value, this tracking value of 50. So when we get to 50 spins without a hit, all the numbers that haven't hit for 50 spins will highlight with a yellow circle. 21, red. And any number that hits in the 40s that, that haven't hit for 40 spins or greater is the trigger to place a bet on the ones that haven't hit for 50 spins, the numbers in the yellow circles. That's what that's all about. Okay, that's why they're yellow. So we're looking for the first dozen to miss or the middle column to miss because they're both on five. We may even see an intersection bet here, which I'm going to play at small stakes if it's um, available to play. If it misses the first dozen and the middle column, 
25, it has on both. So I'm going to do this bet, but at the small stake. So the bet is 2, 5, 8, 11. Split, 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 split. And then I go... Bets closing. One pound seventy. So two, five, eight, eleven. No They're your jackpot numbers. Fourteen's your next best. And then you've got the splits one four, seven, ten, three, six, nine, and twelve. So two, five, eight, eleven. It's an intersection bet showing that the first dozen and the middle column have not hit for six spins, so it's highlighting the four numbers that are intersected. Thirty one is a myth. So I'm going to repeat the same bet, Please same stake. I don't need to increase it. I know it's costing me to play this now. But if this hits, bets closing. Um, this is job done, basically. And I can wrap things up. Now, if this misses, then I've co it's cost me, no what? Bets, £3.40. So I need to make another 3 40 plus uh, another 3 quid. So 2 5 8 or 11, ideally. Second bet. This is just a two bet deal as well. 17, that's the middle. Um, Please place your bets. In fact, it's a three bet deal, isn't it? Because it's put the light out. So this is it. 20 pence on the 2, 5, 8, 11. So I stick my same numbers out there. Basically, if it, if it gets rid of um, the blue box, I just cover the four numbers in the blue box that were in the blue box, uh, which are 2, 5, 8, 11, if it hits a, a, a dozen or a column, it puts the light out. So this is my third bet for 2, 5, 8, 11, final bet for this setup. 18's a miss. 18. Now I'm going to go a bit heavier on the first dozen to recoup that Please loss. Place your bets. So if I put three pounds on there, that'll give me nine. That gets me to 33. Close. If I hit on the first dozen. So no 9 at 24 is 33, 30. I need one more hit after that. Then I've got my target. So I'll do I'll do um, a 10 pence bet to try and get my target. If I get a hit. Oh, where are you going? That's good. That's a hit. Boom. That was a bit weird. Please place your bets. Right. Now I've got 33.32, so I need to make 20 pence, so what am I going to do? Bets Let's do the dozen, dozen, double dozens, there you go. I've gone for the, for the area that's just hit recently, no first bets, dozen, please. and the one that's not hit for the longest, which is the third. So I've done first and third, the worst bet I can do, but I only need another 20 pence and I'm, I'm done basically, so first and third, watch it miss. Oh, it hits. Yay. Well, right, so I'm at 33.52. Please place your bets. 33.52. I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on menu on the tool so I don't get in, well, I don't think about placing a bet. And I'm going to bring up the sheet. There we go. So I've got now 33.52. So I've just made another three pounds. So today I've made the cost of... Of using the missing section tool, I've just won it. Now that's a, I've, well, I've got I've got more than the cost of it back. So for thirty days access, if you wanted to use it for thirty days access, that that pays for that, and you've got an extra bit, an extra one pound on, on top of that. Then, so I've actually covered the cost of using this tool on this session today, just playing four four sessions of making a minimum of three pounds. I made four pounds. On my first one this morning, then I followed it up with a three to get seven. Then I've just made three fifty on this one and another three, which is six fifty, which is now thirteen fifty profit total um, on this session so far. If I withdraw everything, it's profit, right? From my twenty pound start, so that's pretty good. I'm quite comfortable and happy to take that. Um, I'm going to end it now. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and do another recording, and I'm going to continue this process and get these thirty sessions ticked off and show you how I build my balances and this is pretty much it this is what I do this is exactly what I do so you're watching me do it using the tool showing you how it works 
anyway thanks to everybody that's tuned into my channel don't forget to check out my website um hit the subscribe if you've not if you're new to my channel and give it a thumbs up i'm a regular punter loves a loves a gamble not affiliated to any online casinos i'm here to show you how i gamble to make profit uh, using my roulette tools if you want to use them there's a link in the description and just below the main header on youtube make sure you check it out thanks again for your time see you again soon